Finally, cable news and all of the network Sunday morning shows joined in a powerful chorus to ask the question, why are we still in Afghanistan? And there was no good answer except we need to complete the mission. But when pressed on exactly what that mission is, White House and Pentagon officials turned into Jackie Gleason. <laughs> the best I can figure, the original mission to throw the Taliban out of office, disrupt Al Qaeda, and kill Osama bin Laden has now completely changed to create a friendly government, train the Afghan soldiers, and make sure that Al Qaeda and the Taliban can't come back. And that's all supposed to happen by the end of 2014. The mission is titled Operation Enduring Freedom. They might as well title it Mission Impossible. The roads and schools we built in Afghanistan are routinely being blown up. The Afghan soldiers we trained are deserting by the busload or turning on our men and women. The Taliban has set up in Pakistan and Al Qaeda is in Yemen and Somalia. They're just waiting for us to leave. They've waited 10 years. They can wait two more. The point is, whether we get out now or two years from now, the outcome will be the same. And the really sad part is, this is all about the 2012 election. The White House doesn't want to pull out before Election Day and have Afghanistan collapse. The Taliban claims victory, and the Republicans have a campaign issue. And so men and women die for politics. And don't expect a big anti-war march on Washington the protesters are more anti-Republican than anti-war. They have been exposed as frauds. It's up to us to keep the pressure on politicians. I'll do my part, because the men and women serving in Afghanistan deserve much more than our apathy.